a dark background theme with formulas, some mysterious lines, a grumpy cat, an old-fashioned gauge and a tiny bit monster. Is this a tacky ghost train? Or is it a history channel? Well, not quite. In this episode I will disclose the secrets of the channel branding. Okay, I admit my channel branding looks a bit special. However, each of the symbols and pictures has a certain meaning. In the video episodes we are dealing a lot with radio frequency and wave propagation. Some electrical engineers are calling this black magic, because there is a number of effects that appear really strange to laymen. The dark theme shall underline this. The real understanding of all processes in electrodynamics begins with the equations that James Clerk Maxwell set up in 1864. The equations are only indicated here, there are actually four of them. Scientists like to say that they stand on the shoulders of giants. Maxwell is one of these giants. So basically in electrodynamics we always start with that. However, the four equations are usually somewhat complicated to solve. Therefore, there are a lot of simplified methods that are practicable solutions for electrical engineers to do their calculation for the analysis and the synthesis of electrical systems. That's one of the reasons why this channel exists. If we want to understand electronics, we don't always have to stir in the electrodynamics primordial soup. Electrical engineers often work with large gain or loss factors, which they like to represent as logarithmic values in dB. The formula here is simply representative of many methods that we use in the tutorials. The weird curved lines are part of the so-called Smith chart, which was published 1939 the first time. It is a fascinating tool that absolutely everyone involved in radio frequency engineering needs even today. It hides two interesting secrets. The first is that you can use the math of complex numbers to represent impedances with resistance, capacitance and inductance. This initially opens up an infinitely large plane of imaginary and real numbers in which the impedances can be represented. The second secret is that you can transform this infinitely large complex plane into the area of a circle. And in such a way that the distance from a point from the center always corresponds to the reflection factor. If you understand that it will help you more than any computer program. That's why it's part of my channel branding. Just as a hint, there is a lot of explanation material for the Smith chart available on the internet. The cat is my wife's office cat. She literally only comes to the office to sleep on some papers or on the computer keyboard. When she wakes up she needs attention, petting and feeding. But she brings an incredible positive feeling of comfort and contentment to us humans. Talking about well-being, by the way, it helps the channel a lot if you like the video and subscribe the channel. 
The old-fashioned gauge has several meanings. If you look closely, you will see that it is not a real photograph. It is an artificial picture. I made the picture myself using PowerPoint and Excel. I'll show you how to do that later in an episode if there is interest. But the real point is the following. If you take a close look at such an old measuring device, you will see a filigree mechanism, a well-designed dial, almost like a watch. There is also a beautifully shaped pointer, beautiful numerals and letters. Someone even put a lot of effort into the design of the dial. I often miss such a beautiful design with modern devices. And then please take a look at the value displayed by the pointer. It's 42 millivolts. I can already hear the Douglas Adams fans cheering. 42 is the answer to all questions in the universe. It's a tribute to him. In case of further questions on the number 42, I recommend the novel The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It is the best science fiction satire I know. When you read it, you realize at some point that somehow you have already experienced yourself many of the things that are described there. The exaggerations are simply delicious. The little bit monster has a little personal story for me. I created it myself many years ago to play a little prank on my colleagues. It was a very interesting and creative time in my life, which I look back on with great fondness. I talk about it in the creator's interview episode. And still, some of my videos are linked to research, trying to impart interesting facts. But of course, there are many DIY ideas, the technical implementation of which I then show. It's often things that you can't buy, because doing yourself is the most fun in this case. Here is the logo. I wanted to give my channel a certain recognition value. If you ask yourself what comes after music unplugged and western heroes unchained, yes, it's electronics unmasked. I created a logo for it and I had it protected as a registered trademark. Of course, it appears at the beginning of each episode. This is always followed by a small intro, where the little bit monster appears on the stage. Meanwhile, I even refined it a bit. It shatters an electronic circuit diagram while it appears. But please don't get me wrong here. The content of the channel is 99% serious despite the fun logo and the intros. With my video episodes, I'm trying to create substantial quality content, which I derive from my know-how and experience. I want to impart some know-how, share some tools and tricks to solve electronics problems, etc. Even when my capabilities for video studio production are rather limited, I constantly try to improve it with easy means. But the priority will always remain on the quality of the content and not on the video perfection. This also fits to my personal tendency of understatement. Now, see you in the episodes! Now, stay tuned 
and don't forget to subscribe and support the channel. See you soon in the coming episodes.